My Gavan and Melanine, and well met indeed. I am Arach here, Gala Dirithan, head of the modding team behind Divide and Conquer. Welcome back to Divide and Conquer as we continue on as the Ar Ardunayim, which the name is becoming much easier to say when you say it over and over. We are continuing exactly where we left off last time, as I say, so allow me to just again reiterate, I've not read any of your comments from the second episode right through till this episode. This will be the last one that I record this evening on the 9th of February. Um, and I'm gonna. We are going to get to the point where we've turned our economy around. Six episodes in. Although, I mean, the Northern Dunedain campaign, the only campaign to date that I've actually completed yes. on the channel. Oh, that's a lot. Five units. Uh, that uh, the Northern Dunedain campaign lasted 50 episodes. So. By that logic, we're we're ten percent of the way through the potential campaign. Now this battle, I really am tempted to auto as I'm gonna do it. Ah, oh, heroic, you glorious bastards. Enemy camp sacked, got some money for it. And they get Victory. smashed and we can flee An through the forests. Yes. Back to our heartlands! We go uh -huh. no further today. We're so close. I've tried whipping them, but the men are spent. I'm surprised, really surprised. Bree have not Stop sent me a diplomat here. and begged for a ceasefire. Oh, look how much spent. money we're making. 3,500 gold, courtesy of our deal with Angmar to sell them two regions. Angmar will lose them, surely. Why would Bree not just move in and take them straight back? I don't get it. Oh, you, I bet you want a bloody ceasefire now, don't you? You took your town, you're happy with what you've got, and you're buggering off. Now, of course, as before, as with every episode, the one thing that could very well spell our utter and total doom is if Enid Wyeth decide to turn on us. Or, indeed, if Dunland decide to finally attack us. Or, indeed, attack anyone, because at the moment they're doing yes. sod all. If either of those events fail... Oh, we never blocked the port, did we? I moved the ship and then never did anything about it. Let's just send you out. No one wants to attack the Dol Gubalak, though, because it's one of the best ships in the game. <laughs> So he's happy just knocking around, really. We've got our meeting hall queued up. Three thousand. We're like three turns away from being back in the, back in money. We'll be even better if we get those three into that fort. Now, what I'd like is a spy. I should, I should have made it so that you get a spy as well, actually. Where's my notebook? Right here. I've got to write that down. Um, custom battle models. Get my uh, waterman pen back out. My fountain. Which is not liking this ink cartridge, as I explained some days ago. It's really, really, really annoying. Add to AA. We've taken to calling the Ardenaeum AA in the uh, in our modding discussions. Two thousand gold coin gift from the council, and we are one, but one turn. No, we're not, because that faction, that money thing, is always a turn behind. It just, I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. Right. Things that are queued. We've got a town hall over here, which is going to make him free upkeep. That's our focus. That is what we're going for. We want, wherever we can, free upkeep. Which is... What's the fastest way to get free upkeep here? What building trains our um, peasantry? It's a castle in... I can't remember. Who trained? What trained? Oh, no, of course we can't get any militia there. The Ardenaeum only get Corsair units on the coasts. I completely forgot that. Inland, you get virtually no troops. <laughs> so, Matrith, the first thing that we can get that's free, give free upkeep is Belagai units, which would give those free upkeep. I think we've got to go for it, to be honest. I think free upkeep is the fastest way to making money, and then we can pull the garrisons out of all of these and put them in that fort, which we have now claimed. Exactly the same thing is true of this region. We can't get anything other than the Belagar. That's only two turns out. No, let's queue all of those up. No, 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 don't queue anything up. The first and absolutely most vital thing we build is a town hall in Royal Farbad. Now, what's your name, Sarah, actually? You need somewhere named after you. Kalatar. Keloniak. Your name's going to be changed to in reverence. Now, last time we learned that Karad or something like that is means city. So what we're going to do is call it Kar Kalatar. Kar Kalatar. Cracking name. In reverence to the glorious general. Now, give me another mission and make it worth gold this time, please. 
I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. It's taken 72 turns. 73 turns it'll be when it actually gets to the end turn. But we've finally made money. We would, of course, have been all right if I had taken a more profitable town as my starting region. But I decided to take the equivalent of a village as my starting capital. Karas Nernaled is, of course, now my capital and has been for some time. Uh, which saw us take even longer to get out of debt because of my stupidity. Oh, and we're still not there. Why are we still not there? And have we lost our tribute? Why has uh, Angmar suddenly stopped sending us money? Is it five turns later? Oh, no. Someone has come of age. Oh, bugger. We don't have a town hall here. That's not the end of the world, actually. Welcome, Nimruzir. Welcome. Ah, oh, that's how we... <laughs> 16, indeed. Who's the next one? Isn't it someone over here? Nimruben. No. Gimilzagar is the next in line. Four more years, and then Nimruben, six years. Which is not that many turns away, to be honest. Which is why we need town halls. Town halls everywhere. I'm not really that interested in Mengelin, I have to confess. It's rebel, and it's garbage. What we might do is go on another little raid. No, I'm going to keep him there, actually. And we'll, put an we'll queue up another meeting hall. Either one of them getting a meeting hall first is absolutely fine by me. Where's our diplomat? You there, in the Weather Hills. I need you to come and spy. Yes. If I move all three of them out, we make virtually no money. But again, we could ransack. That village probably does not belong to Angmar anymore. Yes. If the enemy finds no, absolutely does not. Bree took it back. To and they just kept a unit of gatekeepers. Go on another raid. Sell it back to Angmar. Let's get that 850 gold per turn back. Oh, my phone has fully charged. The This wireless charging is so useful. You just pop it on this pad. You don't have to plug anything in anymore. The future is certainly looking more user-friendly. Anybody else absolutely um, hoping for the absolute best with this whole uh, Falcon Heavy thing? I mean, the I'm not as amazed by the... The car in space lug. I'm not like... So people seem to be really hung up on this whole car in space thing. I'm not bothered about that. I'm just interested in what this might mean for us as a race. Ah, they've got... Those gatekeepers are... It's two units of armor piercing. Hmm. Where is... Ah, oh, we don't want to move our diplomat though. But Angmar definitely lost both villages. I'm not sure that they're going to win that. That's why. Their armor piercing with their bolts and their armor piercing in melee. If we could use our archers on them and our melee on them, then we'll be all right. Let's try it. An order. Moving to crush the enemy. Oh, it's Besieged heavily in our favor. In coward, my lord. I've opted to the order as well. <laughs> Victory! And ah, you built another town hall. And another one of them. Thank you for another 700 gold. And we're in the clear! Victory! Yes, my lord. Oh, the Angmarim have Lord's taken the fort. Lord. I'm going to offer this back to you again. Um, <laughs> let's share map information. I know you can't give me any money as a one-off. So... How are you talking to 950 for five turns? Loving it. And I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. We look forward to our next meeting. Oh, you managed to hold on to Hobbiton. They haven't taken Hobbiton from you. Oh, of course, because Hobbiton's right near your border, actually. You probably got troops down there in time. Yes. yes. Ah, and Enidwyth still have a Genyar. We have cut Enidwyth off from Angmar, today. though. This is where we find out they're lurking just beyond our borders and we had no idea. All right, get back to that fort. Oh, that whole region is the South Farthing. So we knew that Bree had taken it because we can see the border change. I forgot about that. The border is always correct, even if right-clicking on the map isn't. Um, and I'll show you what I mean in a moment when we get back into the gameplay. Away from the tick, tick, tick of the end turn cycle. Tick, tick, tock, little April showers. 
I am so on edge. I am so ready for us to actually have an army. We're in the barracks event, and not only do we not even have militia armies, we haven't even got armies. Our generals are way too expensive. Oh, Breland, what a terrible shame. You appear to be losing. Ah, we got our repairs done. Excellent. Did we get enough to carry and let's building a town hall? And so is Royal Tharbad. Yes, right. We're going, as I say, for free upkeep. So then... No, what we're going to do first of all is get that 10%. Sweet 10%. Yeah, you can get free upkeep. Yes, please. You're going to take you first of all, so I can take your garrison troop away. You will get your coast, aren't you, actually? Where do they actually come from? I can't remember for the life of me. Not the barracks. Not the blacksmith. The walls, it's only in castles. I don't know why I'm thinking it'd be town hell. That's strange. Not the garrison. I thought it was town hall, I must confess. No, it won't be those. Fighters, but no, that's a guild. It won't be that. Oh. Maybe you... Ah, ports. Yes. No, that's where the marines come from. Oh, um, and then we're back to the beginning. I don't know. I just don't. I don't know where the Azrazai units come from then. In a town, because this is definitely a coastal town. Because in a castle, they come from the castle itself. As you'll see in Argon, does as we know, they're coming from the castle. Maybe Bregos just doesn't have the coast resource, even though it's on the coast. It's quite possible because it's a created region, and I might have forgotten to put coast on it. We don't have a town that doesn't border the... That's really... That's one of those that's really got me. Uh, where where do the Azrazai come from? I'm sure it is the town hall. I'm really sure of it. Anyway, what, will I, what am I actually doing? I'm building buildings. We're going for cheaper buildings first, which is only a couple of turns. I'm really vexed as to why we cannot get Azrazai units there. I can get the mercenaries, and of course I get a boost in money, but the town will hate us. And it costs 2,500. I think this place is just going to have to stay as it is. What? Actually, no. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Those two combined. 155, 170. We don't need both. We'll send a unit of those over there. Which is cheaper than him. And we can pull him out. Get them all in the force. No, fool. Send your emissary to me. End the turn. I really don't. I'm sure that the militia tier units come out of the town hall. And in castles, they come out of the castles, which is true. That's why Argon can already train them. And so then I'm really left puzzled as to why Bregost cannot build militia. This pen is most peculiar. It does actually produce ink, but it's like only half producing ink. It's the really weird. The, it wrote absolutely no problem with the last cartridge, and it was the same make. I don't know. Sometimes you do have to clean them through, but... Ah, Nimrazir has gained a wife. Ah, and Bree have taken Sackville yes. back again. Lothlorien in the Misty Mountains... Argond got its unit of Azrazair. Their free upkeep. Right, so those ones are going to go over to Bregost. Yes. We can go no further today. You're going to get another unit in just a turn, so send those ones to the fort. We'll make camp here. Once you've built the meeting hall, then also go for the Mason's Hall. I'd like Mason's Hall pretty much the world over, to be honest. We don't want our capital to be called Karas Nernaled, do we? We want it to be called something... Um, let's call it for now, our men are lost. I can't remember if there's an... Accent in Armenolos. I don't know what Adenaic for new is either. Bung those in there for now. That gives us even more money. End the turn again. I don't know if Adenaic has a word for new, but with a quick search of my phone, Adenaic words. Adunaic. On a website called eldamo.org, we discover that. Um, search the page. Find on page. New. No. no results. 
Doesn't appear to be a word for new in the lexicon of the known Ardenaic words. There's a word for now. Conqueror, Kathufazagan. Kathufazagan. Interesting. That's a shame, really, isn't it? Because I'd like it to be called new, but... There's a word for to go, which is yad. Anyway, sorry. I'm... <laughs> Getting caught up in learning Ardenic. Faction announcements. New family members. Who's getting... Oh, I've lost count, really. We're getting quite a nice family, though, which is good. So we're not going to die out anytime soon. Let's turn away. We're actually making money. What a novelty. And he's just got free upkeep. Karkalatar. What do we want here? Oh, okay, a practice range. Get some crossbowmen. It would be good to pull him out of there. Or at least give him support. Can't get anything, although actually, hold on. Get me a mason's hall here. I like the mason's halls. I'm, I'm, I've got an almost fanatical addiction to building the buggers. Oh, apparently we're only making 17 gold. But somehow we're going to make 3,000. I really don't know what's happened with the finance panel in this game. Lothlorien and Mirkwood have just allied. Right, we're ten more turns in. Let's have another look at the world. Bree are still doing very poorly. Ennard Wythe are still doing all right. Not at war with Linden. Angmar have got the Northern Dunedain fairly beaten down, but they've not. Dunedain are not out by any stretch. Oh, and they've upgraded their capital to a city, so you can get to see what a Dunedain city looks like, which is nice. Angmar are doing very well. Anduin are still holding on with just three regions. How have the, uh, the orcs not beaten them yet? Merc were doing really well. Interesting that they've allied with Lorien. I find that one quite fascinating. Rohan are not out, but Isengard are smashing them. Mordor, her oh, Dol Amroth have been really beaten back. Harad have taken a time to get going, but now they are going. They're going. Cand lost its capital and still up to Cand, courtesy of the Blue Wizard incursion. They have not been able to take them back. Too busy dealing with Dol Amroth on the front there. Gondor need to actually step it up, really, but I don't think they can. I think Mordor's got the drop on them. Rune are going to win in Rovanian. I don't think the dwarves are going to hold them. I don't really want to check where we are too much, though. I don't like cheating that outwardly. Right, once you've built the mason tool, well, we'll we'll do it. We'll do it as we go along. Oh, of course, our Menelos just got free upkeep for his unit as well, didn't they? Your will, my lord. Ikramar is making his way yes. to Belagost. Argon now has his free upkeep. End the turn. That has really bugged me. Um, why can't Bregost build militia? That is the question. This is one of those that actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording and find out because it's going to really, really bug me. <laughs> Um, and I can check it very, very easily. Let us try. Oh, now they want to cease fire. Of course you do. You realise you're on the losing side. And you are not at war with Angmar, which is very interesting. Now, I'm not accepting ceasefires, I'm afraid. Well, actually, I tell you what. I will accept your ceasefire if you give me your map information, trade rights, and you pay me... 10,000 gold coins for the f reparations for the loss of Basra Doom. I'm afraid. Farewell then. Damn it. That's my price. You want peace with the great nation of the Ardenaeum? <laughs> Problem is, of course, with the Ardenaeum is that once we actually make real money, as we will do shortly, and we actually start training an army, we are better than everybody around us bar Linden. Our army will massacre Bree. Dunland and Ennard Wythe, it will eat for breakfast, lunch and dinner all day, every day, without nary a thought. Linden does have a chance to actually do some damage against us, so those we've got to be a bit wary of. But everyone else doesn't, cannot hope to hurt us. 18% boost for 2,000. And I think that's, I don't know, I think that's worth it. 8% extra cheapness. While we can. 
grain exchange there, meeting hall. And the meeting hall actually gives us free upkeep. No, I'm gonna get I am gonna get the Mason tool while I can. I'm gonna pop the tax rate down to low because we're not bothered about minor hundred gold bits and pieces now, are we? We're doing alright elsewhere. Now I'll tell you what we can do. Yes. Is begin our Nothing shall escape your notice in these. I want one right in the corner. Orders. Get those in the fort. Lovely day. Your will, my lord. Just got paid. By Pack it up. Command. Be on my way. Oh, you're building that. Oh, excellent. Right, bear with me just one moment whilst I um, find out why we can't build in Bregost. No coast. No coast. Hello. Uh, I didn't actually cut that out. Um, I cut out a little bit while it loaded in, but I didn't say anything. And I thought, why not? Let's show you all just exactly how <laughs> what modding can look like in, in full flow and action. And it was only about 40 seconds anyway. So as I thought, the reason we can't train any Corsair Marines or Azur Zaire um, anything here is because this region, despite being on the coast, does not have the hidden resource coast. So I need to add that to it. Um, which will be in your games. So if you ever take Bregost in your games, you can spare a thought for me when in your ones you can train as Razair and I cannot. Um, and it's because this, as I say, is a new region and it was copied from somewhere else and the yes. um, hidden resources weren't set up properly. By me. I mean, it's my fault. I'm not blaming anyone else. <laughs> what I normally do when I copy regions to other regions is because uh, we use a system for the hidden resources that basically means the whole world is broken down into nine regions. Um, and then ev and then there is then a further set of hidden resources from hidden A through H. So hidden A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, uh, I, J. Uh, no. H, I, J. J. J is the last one. And then, so for example, if you command. want... To be only Nothing be able to build, to say, um, hands, pick Lord. whichever unit is listed here. The Azrazaya Marines. I only want the Azrazaya Marines available in Kar Kalatar. Then I check on the map, what's the overall region of this place? And it will be Eriador, for example. And then what's its hidden resource? Its hidden resource is Hidden H. Um, so then I say, the Marines can only be trained in Eriador yes. and hidden Nothing resource Hidden H. Your notice in these lands, my Lord. And then they can only be trained in that one region. And because um, th those two things combined mean make that specific region. So rather than every region having its own hidden resource, because there's a limited number, you can only have 64 hidden resources. And rather than give every region a hidden resource, instead you break the world down into these areas. And then those areas, then every region has something from A through H. And the com combination of the two makes every region specific if that makes sense and if that's even interesting at all probably not now the Azrazaya raiders come from the castle here but in Tharbad itself they'd come from the town hall right now that is something we definitely want 500 gold I made it give us ah the public order bonus due to happiness I forgot to change that ah I forgot to change that that's annoying um, at the minute it's set as a negative because I'm a quote-unquote evil nation 
but that's not really the case. And those two units would be available if I can get it, but we're not too interested in that at the moment. We still need to just be worrying more at the moment about making money. Now, we could get both of those fields, which I think is actually probably a good shout. Ah, oh, no, our men are lost getting roads. Way more important. So our men are lost. Chuck some roads in there. Royal Tharbad, if you could get me a Master Masons, thank you very much. Argond, um, you can go for land clearance. You can't, unfortunately, get a Master Masons yet. Because um, you need to be a stronghold. Oh, interesting. And then the Guild House, you can only get in a fortress, which is the highest tier and unavailable. That may lead to some bugs, one wonders. Do we actually get trade routes? Surely not. Oh, maybe we do. That'd be interesting if we do. I didn't. I don't recall setting it to be that way. That's if so. Right. Anyway, uh, the town, we, the building we want to build off that is a town guard. But so you don't want to queue up a building when you're building a building that reduces yes. costs. That makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, something is really bugged about how it's ranking our money because we are making money, but it's suggesting that we are not making money. Your orders, my lord. With honor. Get those up into that fort as well, because they cost more in the term. So it's telling us we our projected profits are negative, even though they're not at all. We are only making money now. But apparently we're going to lose it. Oh, it's just those three generals. Those three generals cost so much, and they replenish automatically. I also just cannot believe we're 79 turns in and this is my situation. Hanging by a thread, even now. I'm pleased how Bree went down though. I'm pleased to see that even at my utter worst, the AI is still worse than me. Orders. We'll make see, we still make money. Yes, my lord. I mean, not very much. Yes. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Towers Order. are very important to me. Yes. Nothing shall escape your notice in these lands. Get one Lord. right up on that edge there. As you command. As you start painting the map black. Angmar like us, very good news. Cues are stalled all over because apparently we're still not making money. There's just no like that, that building that we've just made two thousand gold because that building is was not building and now is building. <laughs> it's just, I'm sorry, I don't know what has happened. I just I can't possibly tell you. I don't know why. Our financial screen is a turn behind. It shouldn't be. It's not normally. Something to do with the Ardenaeum is absolutely wigging it out. Lyndon, I bet you're coming for a ceasefire Perhaps again. Perhaps we could sort our differences this time. I'll be a bit more generous. I'll go 8,500. I must say, we are not convinced. This meeting was oh, that's a shame. You can't afford to pay Goodbye. me. I'm going to come back and I'm going to smash your bloody pointy-eared bastard asses, and I'm going to take back Buzzard of Doom, and I'm going to, I'm going to fill a room made of the bones of dead elves with the gold that you have made on Buzzard of Doom, and I am going to set a fire to it. Such will be the strength of the flame that the beacon will be seen across the lands of Linden and the elves will look up and question what is this great fire? And standing atop the pinnacle will of course be a grand imitation of Círdan burning in the skies above yes. Linden. And only yes. then, Linden, will you appreciate Nothing the wrath that is about to descend lands, upon you. Lord. An order. Nothing shall escape your notice in these lands, my lord. It might be a bit much, yes. but um, I feel they deserve it. As you command. Yeah, I'm just we're just going to have to unfortunately play the game without knowing at all what's going to happen. Right, you, please build me a town guard. And then we can get... No, we don't need town guard, we want meeting hall first. Then a town guard, then we can get free upkeep here as well. Those royal guards should return to Tharbad, actually. This is the only place that's going to be able to train them. If we were to build the bridge, they would go free upkeep, actually. Interesting little tidbit. Feodor. Feodor Sindarin for spirit lands refers to the lands between the rivers Mithaithel or Horwell and the Brandywine or Baranduin. It doesn't say that, but I've added it for you. 
It was settled in the last days of the petty kingdom of Arthur Dyne when men and women from Enidwyth migrated north and west to live in the land now deserted by the original inhabitants as they no longer feared the power of Angmar. The name came not from the positive meaning of spirit, but from the spirits people believed wandered the land after the destruction wrought upon the land by the forces of Angmar and the Great Plague. The northern half of Tharbad is considered the major power in this region, and the Greenway touches on the region's southwestern border. I very rarely, if ever, read these. <laughs> yes. Oh, hello. Reginald has joined the Freelanders. They've sided with the merchants. And Reginard has come. He is uh, has my number one has my favourite name in the game, and um, he is the general that you get if, when playing as Bree, you side with the merchants. So the Breeland AI have decided to go it alone. They're taking on the world as a standalone nation, which means they can train now a lot of mercenary units. They can upgrade their towns um, to large cities, whereas before they were capped at cities. And they, yeah, the mercenaries are the main thing. They also now get dwarves trained out of Mitchell Delving. Whether or not they'll actually train them is a different matter. But uh... Oh, someone's taken Mengelin. Ah, Bree in their desperation have returned to the dead lands of the Barrowdowns. Nothing shall escape your notice in these lands, my lord. Oh, that's a long yes. way around. Don't worry about that. Lord, we'll nip over there, build it, and nip back. This oh, come off it! You fiddledy d. Yes, that's annoying. I'm losing can money now. Further, oh, you Lord. can train mercs. Oh, bandits. No, thank you. Yes. Move. Bree are now no longer interested in us by the looks of things. Your orders, my lord. This tower will keep vigil over now the that lands. they um, have real threats. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Don't walk yes, through Enidwyth's no, no, no. lands. Do everything we can to stay peaceful and happy with Enidwyth. Now, I don't really want Gimelthon getting Order. caught there. Um, so we'll pull him out as well. Yes. Nothing shall escape Continue your with the building spree lands, that you and your father have begun. An order. As you command. Yes. We go no An order. Yeah, build them yes. at the end of that river. Oh, Argon doesn't like us very much. Get me a town hall here next. And um, then those archers will be free upkeep and we'll have two units, which is good. We need to go down to Bregost and get um, some sight range down here. Oh, we can get a meeting hall. Is that actually any good? Do I want a meeting hall? And get 80 income if I build one of them. We'll build one of them instead. And again, Your we'll orders, my lord. I'm not going to even mention it. We're all aware that it's absolutely screwed to high heaven. We don't know why and we're just going to deal with it. Right, what I would quite like is to actually start getting some troops out here. Um, we've got a meeting hall, which gives us one free upkeep. And we get two for the fortress. So, marines. Two units of archers. Ah, uh, no, one unit of archers. We'll keep the general here. This is our most important yes. town. It probably should be returned as our capital, because we will eventually head into Bree and Enidwyth, and Tharbad is far more central. We won't do it just yet, though. Not quite yet. We need to get our army up so that we can beat someone. Um, we need to get 60 regions to win. We've got six. I'd like to take Enid White out so that we can start populating those lands. Oh, Dol Amroth has the ring. Oh, I've never spoken of the cliffs, have I? And now I'm going to nip away from this area and then pop back in a moment. Um, the cliffs have been boosted. Made better. Make, get land clearance there if you can. We could get a dark sanctuary, but we don't really need it now. 52%. Warlord tool give us extra free upkeep. More bonus to law. More recruitment slots and a public health bonus. Oh, the armory, of course. That gives us a garrison. It's supposed to give negative 80 income, but I'm not sure that it will. We, we don't think that actually works. No, this is this is a castle, let's remember, which are excellent recruitment points. So we're going to go for military here if we can. I shouldn't queue things up like this. It's really bad. And people always tell me, that's really bad, Gally. You shouldn't queue things up like that. <laughs> I still do. One ring is in Dol Amroth. 
Breland quite like us now. Kazadum and Dunland have sugar plum yes, fairies. My lord. That's very bad for us. Yes, with honor. This tower will keep vigil over the Very, lands. very bad for us. Yes. Oh, and you've gone in we their lands. No further, my lord. I was just talking about avoiding that very thing, and we've gone in their lands. Your Get them back into there for free upkeep. Thank you. The Marines are training. That's always good. An order. As you command. Nothing shall escape your... Yes. Yes. Nothing shall oh. escape your... Be gone. I will only address you in battle. What the hell are they doing? Your will, my lord. Yes. We can go no further. An order. Yes. Oh, you there. An order. You can do it. Oh, you can move no. really far. Nothing shall escape your notice in these lands, my lord. Yes. Return to Matrife. Yes. yes Gimelzor, you also. I fear we, we might be needed. Tomorrow. Oh, you can get rid of your... Orders. We're not bothered about Enidwy. As you wish. Enidwy should no hopefully still be at war with Bree. Are they at war with Bree? Yes, they are good. Keeping up the fight. Right, this episode, although unfortunately not containing a single battle, um, is I can greet you, but not yet pretty much so over. Um, Halbrad, there. Do you want map info? Map info. I do not believe I'm able to accept this. Why would you attack me? I've not done anything for you. I've given you so. I'm asking for map info. We've ended bloody hating each other. Idiots. Your orders. Angmar did lose that. Let's send our diplomat over there yes. just so that we can Tomorrow's see that. I think that's going to have to conclude this episode. Um, but I've got the time. I'm going to go again. Screw it. I'm going to record another one. But until we speak again, dear friends, Navar, Naden, Peramad, Melonin, and farewell.